So let's talk vehicle and cover. First off, is your vehicle good cover? To which you would answer, maybe par portions of it, this kind of thing. It's better than nothing, right? So portions of it, yes, are better than nothing. Uh, for instance, you know, engine block, differentials, transmission, those kind of things. It's better than nothing. Concealment is better than nothing at all. Hiding behind a piece of cardboard is better than absolutely nothing. But we have to consider cover like terrain. Use it to the best of your ability until you can find better terrain. Because eventually, you're going to get closed on and flanked on. Because that guy, that guy, that guy has a say. So you can't just get hunkered down behind cover. You've got to think, where is my next position? Because mobility equals survivability. And it's hard to shoot a moving target. All right, so let's take this kind of step by step. First off, in your vehicle, how are you carrying? So in my vehicle, seatbelt on, boom. I typically do one of these right there. So now I can get to it in the event I need to. Um, would the opportunity ever arise that would force you to shoot through the windshield? Of course it would, or of course it can. So let me ask you, where is that first shot going? So you, we know that the windshield is going to have an adverse effect on the external ballistics of that round because you hit external and then terminal and then external again. So the answer is graphic illustration here that first shot's going to rise so as it's coming through it's going to hit the concave portion of the windshield and rise so people say well should i offset for that shot absolutely not shoot and you you make that uh that portion where you just shot through a little mushy the rest are going to go through it like greased butter all right back to this guy right here let me back him up so i can show you some things yeah, that should be good <clears throat> Boom. All right. So dry firing in your vehicle, I think is necessary. You know, to dry fire, make sure that you could draw and also dry fire uh, and make sure you could get out. For instance, boom, use your foot right there as a door jam, right? So that way the door doesn't slam back on you. Let's say you are engaging. Boom, boom, boom. You've got the uh, A and B pillars which offer good cover, but they're, 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 they're thin, right? So we need to find better cover. Let's say I have contact that way. There's trains of thought, and this is, this is flat range mentality, that say, never take your eyes off the target. <laughs> yeah, bullshit, I'm gonna freaking run like, like grease lightning, like a scalded ape. I'm gonna freaking buggy to the back of this vehicle. I'm gonna snapshot where I'm going, and then target, 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 get back on my target as quickly as possible. So, and then with all of these things too, the situation dictates, right? We cannot dictate that we're going to do one thing or another because the situation's got to dictate, right? It's, 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 it's an evolutionary process. It evolves the situation. All right. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. I carry a rifle in my car. Let me see how I can orient this. Boom. That'll cover all the bases, I think. Now, travel configuration for my rifle. I don't have a mag in it because I don't want to uh, load a live round. But my travel configuration stock is collapsed and I've got paper tape right here on the sling so the sling's not dangling all over the place. So if I need to grab it real quick, I can just rip that paper tape off, extend the stock, put it into action. The way I carry my uh, carbine in the car is locked but not loaded. So I have to load it up and then, of course, just flip on that sight as I'm moving into position. So let's talk positions. Now there's a couple of different trains of thought when it comes to positions around vehicles. Some say that you should never ever crowd cover, ever. Now, and then others say that it's okay to crowd cover. Now the people who say never crowd cover are concerned, and rightly so, about the shit coming at them this way. Me personally, I'm more concerned about the shit going that way. Because if the shit going that way is on point, I don't have to worry about the shit coming this way. So I'm going to use that vehicle to support my shooting platform. Uh, additionally, the guys who say never crowd cover are not concerned about this thing called geometry. You see the target, 
flat range mindset is always there. It's never over there. And it's never over there. It's right there because it's a flat range and it's a steel target and it's standing still and it's not shooting back at you and it's got no capability for to be mobile. So once again, the situation's got to dictate. So I'm going to use the vehicle to help sh uh, support my shooting platform. Now, we have to pay c careful consideration when shooting around vehicles uh, that we're um, considering sight over bore. Right? Sight over bore is very important. And a lot of you know, those of you who've trained a little bit, you've probably shot through a barricade or through a vehicle or something like that. So sight over bore, that's why I use my sling ding right there so I can get some standoff, boom. So I can get standoff because if I'm flat, I have a good sight picture right now, down range, but those rounds are gonna go right through that hood. I'm gonna go right through it like grease butter. Whoosh, 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 and I'm not gonna hit shit. So uh, it, it's, a, it's good practice to um, practice different positions. I'm gonna lower this a little bit right here. For instance, you know, a kneeling position is, is always great, right, to use cover. You could just cant that rifle over a little bit. If you need to shoot support side, you can also shoot support side. Notice what I'm doing with my leg right here. My leg is supporting my now firing uh, arm. So boom, 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 boom. I'm good to go there. If my only option were prone on this side, I could go into a rollover prone where I sprawl like that and I come down this way, rollover prone. And I've got pretty good use of cover right there. On this side, I could cant the rifle over and go into a broke back mountain prone boom 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 sky's the limit when it comes to positions but they should be rehearsed and you have to consider that cover is like terrain use it to the best of your ability until you can find better terrain because once again you are going to get flanked on and closed on spooky spooky scary scary rock and roll have a good one squad